Good afternoon. Openly Gay Santa Clara County Supervisor Ken Yeager speaks to Outlook Video for the first time as President of the Board. San Jose Pride will not be celebrated in its usual month of June. President Stephen Cochran tells us why. Providing humanitarian aid to communities in need around the world. Rainbow World Fund President Jeffrey Cotter gives us more details. And get ready for the mother of all gay film festivals. We are giving you a sneak preview of some of the films from the upcoming San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival on this special May 2010 edition of Outlook Video. This is Outlook Video with Roberta gonzalez Gregg and Raymond Donald Hong. And welcome to this special split edition of Outlook Video, your nationally recognized award-winning news magazine for LGBT communities. I'm Roberta gonzalez Gregg at our newly redesigned set at Create TV in San Jose. And I'm Raymond Donald Hong, standing outside the Castro Theater in San Francisco while the first Harvey Milk Day celebrations are underway. How's the weather up there, Raymond? Mild as usual, Roberta. Moviegoers will converge at the Castro Theater behind me for the upcoming San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival that will showcase the best in lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender cinema on June 17 to 27. Later in the program, Eric Chong, Alice Heimsoth, and I will bring you a sneak preview of what's coming for Frameline 34. But first, back in the studio, Ken Yeager, now president of the Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors, visits our studio and talks with Jay Rayley. Roberta? And as you may know, Raymond, San Jose Pride will be held later in the year away from the shadow of the bigger San Francisco Pride. President of San Jose Pride, Stephen Cochran, talks with Johnny Zitch and explains the reason for the postponement and when it will be held. And finally, Jeff Carter from the Rainbow World Fund talks to Jay about the gay organization's humanitarian relief efforts around the world. All that coming up today in Outlook Video. But first, we'd like to give a big shout out of thanks to KMVT Studios and the staff in Mountain View for their hosting and support of Outlook Video for the past 23 years. KMVT helped make Outlook Video the award-winning program that it is today. And now, Ken Yeager is here in the studio to talk with Jay Rayleigh. Thanks, Roberta. Openly gay politician Ken Yeager has risen up the ranks of government in Silicon Valley starting in 1992 as a trustee with the San Jose Evergreen Community College District. Subsequently, Yeager served six years on the San Jose City Council, and for the past four years, he's been serving on the Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors. He's now president of the board, and he joins us here in the studio. Thank you for coming in the studio, Supervisor Yeager. Well, thank you, Jay. It's wonderful to be here with you. Great. So um, I hear that you got onto the list of the 25 most influential people in Silicon Valley recently. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, no, that was, um, it was great. Um, Wigsy Sievertson, who we all know, um, also was on the list. Uh, I can certainly understand why she made it. I wasn't quite sure why I did. Um, and I wasn't sure what their criteria was, but it was very flattering. And certainly I've been working a, a lot in the community for many years, and it was great to get the recognition. Tell us about the, uh, the Board of Supervisors and, and your work there now being as president. To have an openly gay person as president of the Board of Supervisors is really very exciting. And there's just a lot of things that I want to get done. You know, when I was younger, um, you know, with all the ideals and the passion, and now actually to be in a, in a position where um, I can work on these issues, Sort of first and foremost, um, you know, because of all the budget cuts, the state has cut a lot of the really valuable programs that we have with the AIDS, HIV here in Santa Clara County. And um, I had just told the administration that those programs were not going to be cut on my watch. And so we were able to get some grant dollars and some other funds as well uh, to backfill it. So we're not really going to uh, have any of those programs cut, which is great. The other thing is, of course, I believe the Frank Center is, you know, in a whole lot of hurt um, with its funding, and they lost the funding they got from the city uh, for their senior lunch program, which I was able to get them when I was at the city. And uh, we were able to uh, backfill that with um, county dollars, and the county program is now providing that uh, service. So small little steps, but um, I, I feel like we're, we're really um, continuing to impact the community in a very positive way. We're lucky here in California, we have a lot of gay supervisors, and um, there's another one in San Mateo. Yeah, Rich Gordon from uh, San Mateo, who's a very good friend, and um, was on the original Baybeck board with, um, with Wigsy and myself. Um, and so we just wish him uh, all the luck in uh, his race uh, in, in Sacramento. I'm very lucky that uh, I'm up in June, but um, I didn't have any opposition. So. Um, I don't know what could go wrong. It'd be awfully hard. It's a bad day for all of us, but uh, hopefully uh, 
then I'll be um, reelected in June and yeah. uh, we'll have another four years. God forbid anything. But um, and what about tell us about the future? I mean, do you you've, you've gone from the uh, Evergreen District um, to, you know, the ranks of the city council and, and, and now board of supervisors. How, yeah. what, what's, what, what else do you see in your future? Well, you know, it's been a great year so far as, as board president. We have a lot of uh, initiatives that are getting a lot of attention. One of them, um, even though we sort of now call the media, you know, the toy ban, it really is um, only allowing these fast food restaurants to hand out toys uh, if, the, if the restaurants meet certain nutritional um, uh, criteria. And so anyway, that's been a lot of fun and gotten a lot of uh, publicity. And so we'll sort of see what happens with the media and uh, what the future might be. But uh, I really love being in elected office and, and hope I can continue it uh, far into the future. Uh, do you keep in touch with any of the other mayors of, of San Jose, and, and, and what kind of uh, a relationship do you have with them? Well, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be on a lot of regional um, bodies, and um, so I am sort of the county representative um, on a whole host of issues dealing with transportation and air quality, and um, because I am the county representative, I, I really deal with all the mayors in, uh, in Santa Clara County. And so, it, again, it's just really nice to have an openly gay person be the one that everybody has to call and sort of work with. And, you know, so many of us, for, you know, for so many years, it's been trying to integrate ourselves into the community and uh, making sure that anybody growing up, you know, if they want to get into politics, it doesn't matter their gender or their ethnicity or their sexual orientation, that Santa Clara County will be a place that will be welcoming for everybody. I know I enjoy it, that's for sure. I look forward to your work in the future, too. Thank you very much. Well, great. Supervisor Yeager, thanks again for coming down to talk with us. To find out more on what Supervisor is doing, visit his website at supervisoryeager.org. Coming up, Johnny Zitch talks with Stephen Cochran of San Jose Pride.